Hello everyone, this is Tina. In this video, we're gonna talk about one too many bi-directional. Uh, I should say one too many, many to one bi-directional because one too many itself cannot be bi-directional. It has to have uh, many to one to work together. The first version we are talking about is a join column. And uh, let's take a look at this one. Okay, so uh, we already have the, I will continue work on previous version with the one too many join column, okay, uh, one, uh, one too many, okay. So for one too many bidirectional, which means on the person, okay. Uh, first, when we talk about unidirectional, bidirectional, we are all referring about the OO, which is the uh, entity to entity, because in database, everything is uh, Bidirectional, okay. So bidirectional in the old design, which means in the person, we have a collection of uh, address one too many, and uh, in the address we will have a person here. Person, and uh, we have two other annotation, which is uh, on the person we have to add one too many. And uh, in the address, we have to add many to one. Okay, so this is a bi-directional relationship. But for this case, it's not bi-directional. It's gonna be u two unidirectional. If we run now, okay, let's just run it. Uh, my database now is empty, okay? The table are empty now. And let's run to see what's going to happen. Very important. I also have another video explained about uh, bidirectional and unidirectional. I want to explain again, OK? Hey, what I can do is like this way. OK, so here. When we uh, when we run, you can see it created three table for you, address, person, person address. Okay, so here it is. See here, I have a person. Okay, and uh, the, oh, this is a person address. Uh, this one is a person. Person, person ID first and last name, and address have uh, for a key. And for the person address has uh, two column. This is the extra what thing? This is the extra join table created because of uh, one too many relationship. Okay, that the annotation. So let me uh, doing this way is gonna be better. Okay, I think this way gonna be better. Like this. Oh, sorry, sorry. Let's let me do one more time. Okay. Okay, and here I will select this one. Uh, one too many. Too many by. Okay, so let's let let me show you. Here now we have three table, right? Three table, and on the address it also have a foreign key. So what is what does it happen? When Hibernate trying to map this person into the table okay this entity into a table so first it's gonna have create a person change to first it's gonna create a person table person table we are gonna have how many column here one two three right because it cannot store the collection as a join column uh, as a extra column because it's a collection don't know how to store the information. So it's gonna have uh, ID, uh, person ID in this case is called person ID, right? And uh, the next column is the first name. And the next column is the last name. Okay, this is a table for person. Now, here it see okay here i have a collection of address what's gonna happen the collection of address gonna create extra table the extra table is the join table right 
And for the extra table, it will only has a two column. The first one is what? Person ID. The second one is what? Address ID. Right? The, this uh, extra table is caused by this one. One too many. Okay, join table by default, right? Next, let's go to the address. Address entity gonna create an address table, right? And address table gonna have an ID. Yo, sorry. ID and uh, street and uh, zip code and what does many to one do many to one by default gonna using join column which is a foreign key on this address to reference the which person this address belongs to right so many to one gonna create a foreign key on the address side so here gonna have a foreign key which is the person id this one is created because we have a many to one annotation this table we is created because we have a one to many relationship and if we have if we do like this way annotated our entity this way it's gonna create a two unidirectional relationship it's not a bidirectional we want bidirectional but this case is a two unidirectional let me give you one example okay suppose now i will save the address based on the person okay i want to using em dot persist person okay when i persist the person the person have a collection of address okay so i have a person one with a first name uh tina last name x i n g and it's gonna have address first address like uh, 1000 uh, zip code 52556 okay so the relationship between the person and address since i save on person side person has uh, one to person has uh, one too many so it's gonna store the relationship on this join table right so it's gonna be one and uh, one suppose uh, th when i save this person it has a uh, two address and uh, which is a second address yeah Second address is one thousand one five two five five seven. So the relationship is still stored in the person address it's gonna be one two, right? And later on, okay, later on, I do an update. I get this address, okay? I get this address, and I using address one dot set person ID. Say the person, uh, oh sorry, say the person on the address, I uh, using say the person. By this person, I uh, using person two. Here I have a person two. Person two is a Miss uh, XING. Okay, now I uh, using address one. Address one means this address, okay? I uh, using address one dot set the person, person two. Then I uh, using EM dot merge. A D D R one. What's gonna happen? When we merge this address one, it will find this address one. Oh, you see, okay, your person is uh, changed to be person two. So now I will modify on this table, right? Because we are merge address one. When we merge address, it's gonna have a person. So it's gonna using many to one. So your person two here gonna be person ID gonna be two so here is a problem here is a problem what's the problem now what's the problem let's draw a diagram okay uh, I have let me make it a, a little bit larger okay let me make it a little bit larger so now based on the table let's draw the diagram okay so person one and I have a person two here right person two 
And now address has a address one and address has address two. Now draw the relationship between them. Okay. So from person one, from this table, person address table, person one, person one has address one, address two. So person one will point to address one and we are point to address two, right? And now we also has another place which hold the relationship, which is address table. Address table for the address one, address one here. Address one is point to person two and address two point to nothing. So in this case, is it a bi-directional? No, bi-directional means like this way, person one, address one, uh, address two, person one, map to address one, address one will also point to person one. This is a bi-directional, but for our case, person one, map to address one, address one, map to person two. So this is not bi-directional. This is a two unidirectional. Got the idea? This is a bi-directional. And uh, for our case, if we annotate like this way, it, it's not gonna work. It's not bi-directional, okay? It doesn't map to our OO domain model. In this case, how to solve the problem? We have to make sure one side is the owning side, which means we have to decide person will own the relationship or the address will own the relationship. So what does it mean? For this person address, for this table, person address or this foreign key, one should be dropped, okay? This one should be dropped or this one should be dropped. One of them should be dropped. In this case, we only has one place to store the relationship. Then it's gonna be bi-directional relationship. So how to do that? I have to tell you. The only place you, you can drop the relationship in one to many is, is through the one side. Because to drop the relationship, we have to using mapped by. And uh, mapped by this attribute, only exist in one to many. Take a look at one to many has uh, mapped by. But uh, when we go to many to one, it doesn't have uh, mapped by. See here, this is all the attribute target entity, cascade, fetch, and optional. Doesn't have mapped by. And we have to using mapped by to give up the relationship. So the first case is here, we're using mapped by. What does mapped by do? Mapped by uh, do is uh, when Hibernate trying to create tables based on entities. When it see mapped by, and uh, uh, Hibernate will do nothing for this address. Mapped by means I give up the relationship, do nothing on my side. Okay, and what's the value for the mapped by? Mapped by the value is uh, the va this variable name. Okay, when we add like this way, when Hibernate trying to create a table for the two classes, when you see, okay, here have mapped by. Mapped by means what? Mapped by means, let me have another color, okay? Let me use in this colorful one. Mapped by means don't do anything on my side, okay? Don't do, okay? I give up using the other side, the many side, to create the relationship. So when we generate table, there's no this table. You, yeah, it's not very clear. Uh, which one is much clear? This one, this one, okay. Don't, don't create this table, okay? Don't do anything. And then it will using the other side, which is address the side to create a relationship. And we have a many to one here. So in this case, it only generate two table, one for person, one for address. And the relationship is created by many to one. And the many to one by default is a foreign key. So if we configure like this way, it only has two table. It doesn't have this one.
and uh, I want to demo you when we run the code. So first, I will remove or drop all the tables, okay? Drop all the tables. And now the table is empty and I will go, uh, sorry, not this one. I will go here and run. Here, uh, nothing changed in the address and on the person we have a map divide, okay, when we run. Mm -hmm. From here, you will already see it only has uh, two table. See, create a table, create a table, and in our database only has two table. See here, only two table. And uh, I have person, okay, just uh, the fields about a person. And for the address, I have an extra key, extra column as a relationship to maintain the bi-directional relationship. And uh, also, if you want to customize for this uh, for the keys name, what you can do using join column. Join column name is what name is uh, a person ID. Okay, then it won't be person and uh, person ID. This is a default. Okay, so that is for the one too many by directional. Make make sure you give up relationship here uh, if you don't give if you give up relationship and you cannot add a join column and a join table anymore it's gonna have exception let me show you after you add the map by you are no longer to add any other annotation here uh, I mean annotation I mean join column join table because you already give up a relationship why add a join column why add a join table right so if I do like this way, you're gonna see the exception. Because we give up a relationship. Okay, see it here, take it here, see here. Association marked as mapped by must be not defined database mapping like a join table, join column. Okay, so so when you add the mapped by, don't add other join column or join table because you give up relationship. And a join column, join table is to create or customize, is to customize the relationship. So this is a very important topic about uh, bidirectional and uh, to unidirectional and uh, how to using the one to many and the many to one to uh, make a bidirectional relationship. And uh, in this case, we are using join column. Okay, so my next video is if we want to have one to many bidirectional relationship, but we want to have a joint table, how to do that? Okay, so if you are interested, watch my next video. Thank you for watching this video, really appreciate. And uh, if you have any comment or doubt, you can leave a comment. I will try to answer you as soon as possible. Okay, that's it. Uh, thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.